Earlier today, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner, joined by city commissioners, announced the convictions of two Virginia men who were arrested for gun offenses outside the Pennsylvania Convention Center during the 2020 presidential election. The DA says their convictions come as a warning to anyone who attempts to threaten voters or election workers. We are here for a very important purpose, and that's to save our democracy. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner proclaiming justice has been served. Two Trump supporters from Virginia now stand convicted after making their way to the Pennsylvania Convention Center as votes from the November 2020 presidential election were being counted. Antonio LaMotta and Joshua Macias, who thought that the way you dealt with an election is to put an AR-15 in your car with 130 plus rounds of ammunition, put guns on your hips, and go to a place where you don't live to mess with votes that aren't yours. Prosecutors say LaMotta and Macias then drove up in a Hummer. The duo were stopped by Philadelphia police acting on intel from the FBI. I'm calling on the courts to impose the maximum sentence on LaMotta and Macias. I believe their intention was clear. I have confidence that if not for the actions of the Philadelphia Police Department and their federal partners, that they would have c committed successfully more heinous crimes. Commissioner Omar Sabir says the conviction strike a nerve given a little over 150 years ago, civil rights activist Octavia Scata was assassinated on election day. What was interesting about it was that the men who assassinated him went to trial and was acquitted, although there were six eyewitnesses. Krasner says let these recent convictions serve as a warning as primary election day quickly approaches. You come to Philadelphia to mess with our votes, we got a pair of handcuffs, we got a jail cell, we got a trial, we got a conviction, and we got a sentence for you. LaMotta and Macias were found guilty of two gun charges but were cleared of election interference offenses. Sentencing is set for December. Well, CBSPhiladelphia.com is where you can find more information about candidates, voting, and the relevant issues ahead of next month's election. Just click on the voter guide.